there, uh, Carol here and just doing an unboxing of an order that I got from Zoo Plus for my hamsters and my gerbil. It was over Christmas so I don't know what I ordered um, and obviously I realise the light is pretty bad here but I'm just learning to use my new video camera so bear with me. I'm sure I'll learn a lot as the time goes on. For now, um, we have a hamster downstairs waiting on a wheel because his wheel broke. Yes, little bear's 12 inch um, silent spinner broke. Um, we came down one morning and it had fell apart so we decided to send the little bear's cage is natural themed. We decided to get a little Right, so it comes in a big box, um, big box, so I really don't know what I ordered. Um, it looks to be well protected. I'll put the scissors down. Get a quick cup of tea. Right, so packaging and all this bubble wrap stuff. Oh, and we got a new bottle for the guinea pigs. Um, new bottle for the guinea pigs. And if I remember my remote control, I will be able to zoom in. Maybe that's zoom out. Zoom in. That's it. Actually, it's that way. And then zoom out again. So that's the good fix. And a string harness, a string harness, a string hammock for um, our gerbil. It's a, called a grass mat and you tie it to the roof and the hammock we've got in his uh, terrarium just now is just it's a bit too heavy for my liking and it's made of rope whereas this is made of grass so much safer for him to have a little chew at and bigger so should be able to do something with that um, the old magic suspension bridge that we can do a lot with a medium stick um, stick house as we call them because you can bend them into houses or walls which I'm hoping to use this one for so is that the gerbil can have a separate digging area and a shallower area to put things like sand baths and wheels and then there's another oh right this is a test um they are i'll see if i can zoom in um Right, if anybody has any feedback on this, please let me know. Um, because Burgess have stopped selling their, their hamster food and I am now looking for a new food for them. This looks okay, but I happen to know the protein amount is a little bit low at 15%. But I can add mealworms and nuts and things to up that. Um, which thankfully I do, but it is very basic. And there's another box in here. What did I order? Now that's a box and that'll be the wheel. Oh no, I know what I ordered. Yes. Yeah. Right, let's open this up and see what this is. This might be Bear's wheel. I think this might be Bear's wheel. 
and this is going to be so fun if it is. And obviously my jet ball has now got a ton of colour balls to go chew through. And this is Bear's Wheel. It is a... Oh. It is an 11 inch wheel. Slightly smaller than the one he had. But it spins and it is absolutely silent. It's got cork run, um, it's quite solid on the bottom. I think Bear is going to absolutely love this. Yeah, there's Bear's wheel. It's quite heavy, quite sturdy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to Bear getting some time. We'll try and get some video cams of that. And the last box is for my little girl transfer. Now, unfortunately, I tend to buy things and not actually measure them first. So, I bought this and it wasn't until earlier on this morning when I realised the delivery was coming that it might not fit in this cage. Um, He's a dwarf hamster, so he has a 90 by 40 cage, um, that's centimetres, uh, but this is quite tall, and I'm not sure how tall his cage is. Wow. I really, really hope it fits, because um, if not, somebody else will have to get it, and I don't know who. I don't think it would fit in Tears cage because hers is a 110 by 37 and it's not very high at all. So this is, and I have to put some of these bits together. Why did I get it out of the box? Oh. It's a little castle thing and I will get a photo of it when it's um, all built up but I thought it would be lovely to put a bunch of sand in the bottom because it's a it's all contained in this little frame I actually think this will fit in Gizmo's cage but as you can see the instructions are there um, to help build it so I will get a little finishing photograph and add it to the end of this video but it looks like a fun little explore place for Gizmo to go and run about and it gives him something new to do because he's had some of the same toys for quite a while now this looks fun it really does look like a fun thing for him to to do and he is a little clamberer uh, he, he might only be a dwarf hamster, but he likes to clamber everywhere. Uh, he's the friendliest hamster we've got. Uh, and if I remember rightly, he'll be a year old in February? Or January? January or February, he'll be a year old. So this is a brand new toy for him to run around and explore on. Zoo Plus currently has a sale on, so get in there. Um, this was only, for the life of me, I can't remember. And there doesn't seem to be an invoice in here anywhere. So yeah, no, invo <laughs> no invoice, but that was done through email. Um, I know that the wheel was 11 99 reduced from... Um, a higher price I think it was 19.99. so I know the wheel was there and that's just the paper scratching at the back the little label though it is completely silent and I am going to stop this video here because I know that my man is waiting patiently for me to take this wheel down for Bear so that he can put it in the cage and we can both see what Bear thinks of it so thanks for watching and that was my haul for December um, I don't do a haul every month, um, but I will keep you up to date on what we do and I'll get that picture up and ready. Um, 
before posting this video. Thanks very much for your time and give me the remote control and